Good morning, February 5th, the faith I live by, faithful and true, Malachi 3, verse 6, for I'm the Lord, I change not, therefore you sons of Jacob are not consumed. In regard to the personality and the prerogatives of God, where he is and what he is, this is a subject which we are not dare to touch. The one who is who in the daily life holds closest communion with God and who has the deepest knowledge of him realizes most keenly the utter inability of human beings to explain God, the creator. God always has been. He is the great I am. The psalmist declares, before the mountains were brought forth or ever thou hadst formed the earth and the world, even from everlasting, from infinity to infinity, thou art God. Psalm 90 verse 2. He is the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity. I am the Lord. I change not. He declares with them, there is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is infinite and omnipresent. No words of ours can describe his greatness and majesty. Above the distractions of the earth, he sits enthroned. All things are open to his divine survey. And from his great and calm eternity, he orders that which he provident, his providence sees best. That's why I want him Lord of my life, because I don't know what I'm doing. God does not propose to be called to account for his ways and works. It is for his glory to conceal his purposes now. But by and by, they will be revealed in their true importance. But he has not concealed his great love, which lies at the foundation of all his dealings with his children. The rainbow about the throne is an assurance that God is true. We have sinned against him and are undeserving of his favor, yet he himself has put into our lips that most wonderful of pleas. Do not abhor us for thy name's sake. Do not disgrace the throne of thy glory. Remember, break not your covenant with us. Jeremiah 14, 21. He has pledged himself to give heed to our cry when we come to him confessing our unworthiness and our sin. The honor of his throne is staked for the fulfillment of his word to us. I hope you have a great day. Live in faith.